Okay, class, we are still looking at different theories responsible for the formation of a rift valley. Remember, we have covered tensional forces theory, compressional forces theory, and differential uplift theory. So let us look at relative sinking theory. This is the opposite of differential uplift theory. Here, what happens, the central block the central part of the Earth's crust sinks faster than the side blocks and this leaves a depression at the center called the rift valley. If you check on this diagram, these central blocks had to sink faster than the neighboring blocks at the sides and the ones that remain at the sides where sinking was slow form hosts one can even call them block mountains and the other part of the crust where the block had to sink faster forms a depression called a rift valley or a graben some books call them the same grabens and rift valleys most of the times are called the same because they are formed in the same way. Then crust separation theory. This has relationship with continental drift tectonic movements. So how does this lead to the formation of a rift valley? It comes as a result of convection currents from hot spot that rise vertically and horizontally and this breaks uh, all forces the crust especially the central block to sink and after the part that moves down forms a rift valley so if you check here we have a hot spot others may call it uh, a chamber of magma or the mantle but let us call it a hot spot which is very hot with a lot of energy which produces these convection water currents and these convection currents put this whole block or crust on stress until it separates one on left one on right and this upper part will become wide. It opens to form a rift, rift valley. Uh, question: You can be asked to describe how a rift valley is formed by anticlinal arching. Remember, during folding, we said an anticline is a folded heel. It is a hill on a folded landscape. This is a hill after folding. But when this hill, when the peak of the hill is subjected to folding, it cracks. And the crack keeps on widening to form what? To form a rift valley. It is formed when strong compression forced the anticline to crack and after continuous cracking, continuous compression and cracking led to the widening of the gap forming a rift valley. Thank you.